What is up, my beautiful Aquarians? I hope you guys are all doing well. This is a general reading for all placements, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. All right, you guys, let's jump in. Keep in mind the energy is fluid. It can go vice versa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to take that one. We're going to take this one. We have a Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. The Magician in reverse. Okay. How you're being seen is the Nine of Wands. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my God. I just, oh my God. Oh, what was that? Okay. That was weird. Okay. <laughs> you guys, uh, stick around. I got some free personal readings. Everyone's going to get three free personal readings. So stick around. I'll tell you how to do that in a moment. All right? Yes, they're, they're free. And you're going to get three. Because three is the magic number. <laughs> All right. So, damn. You know, Aquarius, I feel like someone is trying to paint you out to be, like, the bad guy. Somebody wants you to be the bad guy? I feel like you're saying, you know what? I'll be the bad guy. I'll be the bad guy. You know, I'll be the villain. Because I don't know why I'm getting like, this is someone who is greedy. Okay. I feel like this person is greedy, but they're trying to make it seem like you're greedy. Okay. How they feel about you? Seven of Wands, reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person has a gambling addiction. Yeah, okay. So, okay. So because you're a humanitarian, because you are free, unencumbered. Yeah, the Nine of Wands. You're free. You're unencumbered. You guys are debt-free, okay? You guys are free spirits. I feel like you do what you want. You do what you please. You spend your money how you like. You have a lot of it. I, I know I'm hearing, um, what's the song? Throw it up, throw it up. Watch it all fall out. Throw it up, throw it up. That's how we ball out. That's how we ball out. You still got more? I'm hearing you still got more. Um, This is so weird, okay? Because I feel like somebody, it could be a Taurus. This is a weird, this is weird. We have Gemini here, we have Aries. Virgo, uh, Taurus is here. The energy of Virgo is very strong with the Six of Pentacles, um, Ten of Pentacles. I also get Capricorn energy. So somebody's, okay, I feel like you have this. I don't like this reading. I really don't. I don't, I feel like you're, this person's pocket watching you. Yeah. This this person's pocket watching you. It's a king of pentacles in reverse. Okay, this is someone who is very very um, greedy. You have the six of pentacles too in the reverse, which is like I don't know why I'm getting like someone is stealing. You know, I don't know I, someone is stealing to sort of um, pay for their their addiction. I feel like it's a gambling addiction. This is someone who's always in Vegas. They're always going to Vegas. They're always flying to Vegas. Yep, Vegas. I see, like, I see the tables. They're always, like, they like to lose. This is someone who likes to lose. Like, what the fuck? People really, like, I don't want to see that movie, The Gambler, with uh, Mark Mark Wahlberg. This is someone who gets high off losing. You know, my mom used to be, my mom was like that. My mom was a Pisces. Um, she died in 2011. Um, rest in peace. But, yeah, she, she, you know, we didn't have the best upbringing because my mom had a, addiction to gambling you know and i couldn't figure out why i think it was just a cover for something else but yeah um somebody oh wow okay so that's an omen that's why i wrapped that up this is a cover so someone has an addiction to something else but they are hiding it with this gambling so someone's telling you hey i'm going to the casino i'm going to bingo i heard bingo oh this person's doing more than that Okay, I feel like they're pocket watching you though. This is so strange. Like, if this is you, I feel like someone's pocket watching you. You got somebody watching you. They're following you. Okay, the two swords in reverse. Yeah, like someone knows the truth here. 
someone figured something out and you know that you figured something out about somebody <laughs> you used to you okay so you were you were confused before but you, you you were like indecisive you have two twos you have two you have two tens Yeah, you knew you know something now. Like you know what's going on, and you, you can see it for what it is. You you know what's going on. I feel like somebody was like trying to paint a different picture about what they were doing. And the truth is, they're that person. They're the one that's doing it. I feel like they're the one that's doing it. You're not. They could be accusing you. I also heard giving to someone else. So someone's accusing you of giving to somebody that. Yeah, with the Nine of Wands, because the Nine of Wands kind of gets around a little bit. You know, it depends on the surrounding cards. I don't really see, like, third parties here. But, like, I feel like you're giving to someone or you're helping someone you're not supposed to be helping. That's what I'm hearing. You're you're enabling someone or someone is enabling. You're, so, you're trying to stop somebody from enabling somebody. Or there's somebody here enabling you. The fuck is going on? This is a lot of people, by the way. This is a lot of individuals here with the Ten of Wands um, that you may be walking away from because they're pocket watching you or... I don't know why I feel like this is a group of people um, that you hang out with, you play bingo with, you play poker with, that you play, I don't know, you play chess with or you play, I don't know, I'm seeing like there's gambling though. There's a lot of gambling. Is this like something that you're walking away from because it's getting out of hand? I don't know why I feel like it's illegal. It's like underground. Um, <laughs> with the tower and the obstacle position with the two of wands. This is something like, I feel like this is a secret like society, like where you guys go hang out like underground. I'm seeing like fight clubs and fucking, like what the hell is going on? This is such a weird reading. Anyway, like I feel like you're getting out before it's too late. Like I feel like you're getting out because things are getting out of hand. Um, people are so greedy. People are so selfish. They don't want to pay their debts. I'm hearing you're getting out. You're getting out of this. Okay. They're lying. They're manipulative. They're cheating. Um, the four cups in reverse too. It talks about an opportunity, um, coming back around. So somebody's looking for an opportunity to get over on you. Yeah. Cause this magician in reverse is, he's pretty tricky. He's a tricky, he's a trickster. Okay. In the reverse, this is someone who shapeshifts. Okay. They're pretending. Yeah. And the four cups in the reverse is opportunity. So someone, this is someone who, oh, wow. Okay, you're getting out just in time. Yeah, you're getting out. You're cutting your losses. Maybe you lost a lot of money at this club or um, I feel like this is like a very exclusive private club too. Like, I, I don't know I'm hearing like um, the Hamptons or something. Like, you're getting out of something and you're doing it in time because I feel like someone's going to go through your things or they're going to steal from you. Like, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, and you. this is like your life here. I don't know what I'm hearing. Like, this is your whole life. This is an inheritance or this is your legacy. This is your royalties that you're getting every month. You're getting 10 grand or more a month. And it's just, as soon as you get it, it's out the window, like out the door. Oh my God, you could be really putting that money to like good use. Like, I don't know. I, gosh, I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money. I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money, okay? I don't I don't care. I'm the last person that needs to be telling you anything. Um. But I feel like, I don't know why I feel like there's, there's so much that you could be doing with that. And I don't know, I'm hearing if this isn't you, it's somebody you're telling this to. Because, you know, Aquarius is a genius. Aquarians, they're so intuitive. They're so knowledgeable, you know. You have access to the Akashic Records, Aquarius. I feel like if you know, if you have access to the Akashic Records, there isn't anything in this world you do not know, okay? This is, like, I feel like you could foresee some sort of event taking place before it happens. And maybe you were warning someone, like, hey, don't do this. Don't don't gamble. Don't do that. It's not a good idea. I feel like this person is an investor and they're greedy. This could be, like, your accountant or um, your broker or something. And I feel like you, you left money to this person to handle it i don't know like to to trade for you or something and it didn't work out okay others of you i feel like this is you okay i feel like this is you learning some sort of lesson i feel like you're gonna get better at this okay yeah you have to go through this everyone has to go through this if you're a new trader like i, th I don't know what i'm saying like you're a day trader you trade currencies okay you're learning about this i'm hearing forex okay Yeah, I'm also hearing, um, what is that other one? What's that other one called? Um, I always see it. I always see it everywhere. I forget what it's called. Um, 
<laughs> it's gonna drive me crazy. Um, I see, yeah, like someone's a trader here. You're you're like new to this, and I feel like you're gonna get good at it, okay? Um, but you gotta be mindful because I feel like there's a lot of people who are wanna prey on you. There's like people who are claiming to be brokers or experts in this field or this niche or whatever this is you're doing. Um, they're claiming to be experts, they're gonna help you and they're gonna do it for a fee. But this person might lose your money or they might um be taking your they might just steal all your money. I don't know, I'm hearing that, okay? Because this person's looking for an opportunity back in and they're manipulator. They're not they're not to be trusted. Okay. Yeah, and the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, yeah. This is someone who um you walked away from too. I feel like for a lot of you, um, you walked away from these people because you kind of knew like you didn't really need them. Okay, of course you don't need anybody. <laughs> Aquarius doesn't need anyone. I know you're the house of uh, friendship, you're the eleventh house, but um I feel like that's what that's kind of what got you in trouble. I don't know, I'm hearing that. you being so open and kind of receptive, you know, you're like, oh yeah, um, like, I think these are business colleagues. For some of you, these are business colleagues. Others of you, it's like people who collaborated with you on something. You're walking away from this project or um, investment deal, okay? Because it's, it's, I feel like it's going sour. It's going left. And when you do that, once you do that, I feel like um, they're going to start pocket watching you. Because I feel like whatever it is you're doing, if it was failing while you were with this group, it's going to take off. Like once you start working alone, especially if you have like Aries in your chart, if you have Aries Jupiter, Aries North Node, Aries Rising, Aries Moon, I feel like you work better by yourself. I know you're Aquarius, you're the eleventh house, but you gotta look at your planets, you gotta look at your placements, okay? Because I feel like this is telling me you need to like these people are manipulative. All right, there's a lot of them. It's ten of wands, yeah, the ten of wands. Um, this is a multitude of people. <laughs> you can't trust them. All right. <sighs> I guess lesson learned if this is you that lost all this money if you lost this money you're gonna get it back okay you're gonna get it back and you do have two tens here so i'm hearing tenfold all right they're pocket watching they're spying on you i don't know i'm hearing irs <laughs> okay they could have stolen money out of your account how is that legal i don't know they stole money from you they're taking your money yeah they're saying you owe back like they're i don't know is it tax season yeah holy shit yeah there's somebody they're saying that like you owe taxes or you owe money and i feel like they owe you money but they're pocket watching you how you gonna pocket watch me how you gonna pocket watch me when you owe me money the fuck yeah i'm hearing that too like how the like they have they have debts they have gambling debts they haven't settled and they're pocket watching you but they owe you money the fuck it what that's weird. That's so weird. Okay, whatever. That's weird. Oh, okay, we're gonna get one message. If you guys made it this far, take advantage of your free personal readings down below. They are the second, third, and fourth link. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy them. I think I'm gonna take this one. Yeah. And um, check out the new merch. All right. I am fearless. Even in the face of insurmountable odds, I never back down. My strength of spirit will see me through the toughest of challenges. Okay. Yeah, um, there's nothing you can't do. I feel like, too, if you deleted something. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about this today because I deleted over 838 videos, like, over a year ago. And I'm telling you, I'm just now, like, that was, like, two years ago. I am just now getting my bearings back, okay? I must, I didn't even realize, and this happens to, like, a lot of creators. This isn't just happening to... Like, this isn't just me. I'm talking, some of the smartest people did this. They had millions of views. Listen, if you're a creator, don't do that unless you know what you're getting into. Because if you're deleting your videos in bulk and, oh, like, you know, 100 videos or more, that's, that's like, really risky, okay? Um, I'm seeing, like, you're going to get, yeah, somebody lost a lot of money. Someone lost a lot. Like, something about their royalties was stagnant. It's going to, you're going to, it's going to be okay. You're going to come out the other side. Okay. I feel like these are people pocket watching you too. Like the people, there could be some people responsible for this and they're trying to see what happens. Like they may have like did this behind closed doors or behind, behind the scenes. Like, I don't know if you have a channel or if you have like a platform and I don't know I'm hearing like the people who own the platform are deleting your videos and they're wanting to see if you could handle it. They want to see your reaction. They want to see if you're greedy or if you're in it for the right reasons. Okay, this this cup this energy comes very highly this this energy comes very like highly manipulative, but I feel like it's for a good reason. 
Okay, I know I'm not trying to justify it, but like somebody, I feel like this is like the elites or these are like, this is like a platform, like YouTube, people who run this platform. I don't know, I'm hearing that. Like somebody's deleting your videos because you, because you're the best. They want to see if you can handle it, if you can keep your composure. Yeah. Okay. And they're pocket watching you. They're pocket watching you. Of course, they're obviously they're going to be pocket watching you because they want to see Wow, this is so strange. I feel like there isn't anything you can't get through, okay, Aquarius? I, I don't know who this is for, but like I feel like if this is something that you did, you're going to salvage it, okay? If you lost money, you're going to salvage it. Everything's going to be returned to you tenfold, all right? It's because you have this really adventurous type of spirit. You know, you have a very adventurous, free spirit, and maybe you, you had, you know, full faith in something. You had full, like... You had confidence in something here. And I feel like this, this whatever it was, didn't fall exactly. It didn't go as, exactly as you planned it would go. Um, yeah, but it's okay. Because like I feel like it's a lesson that needed to be learned. If this is something that was detrimental to your business, okay, yeah, it's a lesson that you needed to learn. Because now that you know, if you start another business or you start another platform or channel or whatever, you're going to go, you're coming out on the other side 10 times stronger. Yes. And intel, like you're so smart. I feel like you're very, another thing, this makes you very like, this makes you very um, useful, you know, to other people. So you could be teaching people about this. Maybe you're a digital creator. Maybe you're a tech, um, a tech channel or analytics channel or something. Like you talk about the analytics or how to navigate the analytics. Maybe you're doing that or you're thinking about doing that. I think you would be really good at that. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're, you're somebody who, um, helps other creators navigate how to, uh, you know, differentiate what's working on their channel and what's not working, whether it be their thumbnails, their CP, um, their CP, is it called CPM or what is it called? CRTs or, or no CTRs. Okay. Yeah. I'm seeing like, you're, you're like, um, you may be even like creating a masterclass or something around this because you lost, because you failed, you're going to create a masterclass around this. And you're going to make millions. That's what I see with this, Ten of Pentacles. Like, you're going to make millions off this. I feel like you're capitalizing on your failures. This is dope. I think this is cool. All right. That was that was a little, that was a little hard to get through. But <laughs> uh, we came out the other, we came out the other side, didn't we? Yeah. I feel like that's an omen. You guys are going to, you guys are going to be all right. Okay. Um, and if somebody sabotaged you, oh my God. If somebody sabotaged you with the Seven of Wands, I feel like they have to watch this. If they're the reason why you're like stagnant or struggling, you beat like whatever this was. You beat these obstacles they put in front of you or you you figured out their manipulation tactics. Okay. Okay. So you like, you're a genius. <laughs> like you know what's going on around you. You can see everything and everyone. Okay. Yeah. This person has a this person's greedy too. I don't know. I'm seeing like they're they're very greedy. Um, they could be pocket watching you. This could be if this is like someone you were married to. I feel like um, you may leave an account or close an account or something or file for bankruptcy. I don't know. I'm hearing that as a way to cover your inheritance. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Okay, I'm going to get out of here, you guys. Um, take advantage of your take advantage of all your goodies and stuff. All right. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you guys actually took advantage of that before. Um, if you guys actually took advantage of the free personal readings. Drop a green heart down below if they resonated, if you found them enjoyable, or if you found that they were helpful in some way. Um, please drop a green heart so you can, um, yeah, just let me know. Just let me know, you guys, because I really would appreciate the feedback, you guys. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.